RSP Productions is sponsored by Dynamic Essentials. If you use the code in the description, you can get a discount on their modified controllers. Hey everybody, it's Glitch and Queen, and I have a very cool glitch for you guys. You're jumping off the roof, out of the map entirely. You're outside this window of the shower area. It's very cool. You can run around. This was found by Kana660. I will show you guys how to do it right here. What you need to do is make sure you have an afterlife. And we need to open up a few doors. So go hit this afterlife machine, and then have one of your friends revive you to keep you going. You can get all these doors open with just one afterlife. The first door that you need to have open is the shower. So go over to this area here, open up the shower. The next thing you need to do is you need to have the warden's key. So once the shower is open, you can go get the warden's key if it's either here or down by the warden's office. So you just zap that there and then have another player grab that key. And then you can head down and see that they're going to open that door right there to the laundromat. So you got to have the shower open, the laundromat door open, and you also need to have the roof open. So go over to the infirmary area, jump up on the roof, and hit that power box right there and have that roof open. So now you have all these doors open, you are ready to get into the glitch. So head over to this cage fence area, make sure you have an afterlife, and down yourself in that corner. Once you're in afterlife, you're going to want to go over to the infirmary area and act like you're going to jump up onto the roof. You're going to have someone else revive you. Now, it's a good idea to stand up against this brick wall right here. Once you see the indication that they're reviving you, count to five. One, two, three, four, on five, jump up, and you should be up onto this cage area right here. And we'll be getting up onto the roof this way. Okay, so a really cool trick here that Slick Killa showed me is once you get here, to get safe from the zombies, you can knife lunge and it will throw you out onto an invisible barrier right here. Now from here, you can still help revive your friends and you can still go prone and crouch and everything and get up onto the cage. So I'll show you third person. A zombie's just coming around the door right here. I'm lunging, knife lunging. Basically, I'm just kind of moving to the side and hitting my knife and it throws me back onto that invisible barrier right there. And that keeps me a lot safer from the zombies while I try to help out my other friends. Okay, so from here, it's easy that you can easily go prone and crouch and then get up onto that upper platform right there. Once you do that, you wanna kinda of scoot around and turn around, make sure you have another afterlife and then down yourself with a grenade. Once you're in afterlife, you wanna head over to the infirmary area again and act like you're gonna jump up on the roof. Make sure that you face the brick wall and you also want to make sure another friend is up there on that cage area to help revive you. So once you're up against the brick wall, wait for the indication that your friend is reviving you. And then you're going to count to five. So it's one, two, three, four, on five, jump up, and you should be completely up on the roof. You want to then head down over to this area right here because we're just going to be jumping straight off the building onto that green grass right there down where I'm shooting. You're trying to get as close to that zombie spawn window in the shower area as possible. If you land right in front of that window and you have an afterlife, you can go and revive yourself. But if you don't land close enough like we did right here, then just let your afterlife die out and then you'll be in human form and you can scoot over to the window. And if one of your friends is still inside the map, then they can easily revive you. And another thing you can do is help other players that jump down that don't quite make it as well. So you can see here, we got revived from someone inside, me, and then we went over and revived the other person that landed a little too far away. But yeah, cool glitch. Hope you guys go, go out there and try it, and we'll see you next tutorial.